Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time. <laughs> I am currently set up out at Ray Roberts Lake State Park. Man, this is such a beautiful park. A couple of weeks ago, the good folks at Life Do reached out to me. Now, if you're new to the channel, you probably don't know who that is. But if you've been following along, you'll remember several weeks back, I did a video ab about one of their uh, portable grills, their flat pack grills. And I, I, I fell in love with it after I made my changes. But anyway, they they thought that must they must have thought that was a good video because they reached out to me and asked me if I'd do a video on another one of their flat pack grills. They sent me the box, and it is a heavy box. Now one of the things they do that is kind of kind of humorous is they they put people's comments on the on the box. Some of them are not PG. So let's open it up and see what's in this box. Big staples. Now Life Do makes all of their grills, their flat pack grills, are mostly stainless steel. Now the last one that I worked with was black. Man, that's heavy duty steel right there. Dude, stop. Side pieces. They always include a bag, carry a tote bag. They go together, they're, they're pretty simple to put together. Two positions for cooking, deep and shallow. I like that a lot. Heavy duty. I thought there was three. There's only two. Okay. And then the grill goes on top. So there's the assembled grill. Now we're gonna do some cooking. I'm out here for two nights. So I'll cook several meals on this flat pack charcoal grill and fire pit. It's also a fire pit. But I'm gonna cook some of my, my favorite camp foods, ribeye steak, bratwurst, uh, link sausages because if if you watch the last one of these I did I had issues with the void here losing f food into the fire and I also had issues with the grate sliding around this does not have that issue it's locked in place uh, I still have concerns about losing food into the fire but we'll see so stay tuned food to come so this evening, we're going to be cooking Kroger brand beer brat 
and Kroger brand brown sugar and honey pork sausage legs. Yum. That'll be for breakfast tomorrow. I'm gonna go, go, go light up the Life Do, the new Life Do grill. Let's, let's go cook some stuff. Now on the last video, the last Life Do charcoal grill video, I had a couple of suggestions from viewers that so I was having problems with links sausage links rolling off this grate uh, and that's because I had it ooh, that locks in tight I had it like this and some and a couple of people said well why don't you just turn that over and that will give you a stop there so I'm gonna give that a try and see if that keeps the links from rolling off. One of the things I really like about these life do grills is that you can light them from down here. You don't need charcoal lighter and you don't need a chimney. You just get a torch and light your charcoal. So I'm gonna get this burning. And I'll be back. Good morning. And look how beautiful that lake is. Too bad that water out there is only five feet deep. There might be some good fishing this morning. But anyway, we're not here to fish. We're here to cook some breakfast on the Life Do Pro. So this morning, we're gonna be cooking on the skillet. We're gonna whip up some breakfast on the skillet, in the skillet, simple breakfast. But I wanted to show you how versatile the Life Do Pro Grill really is. I'm gonna let that get hot for a minute. I'll be right back. So we're gonna throw in four of those sausage links from yesterday. These are already cooked, so I'm just really just warming them up. Getting a little, little sausage fat on the on the skillet before I put the eggs on. little faux butter.
really hot, really, really hot. Time for breakfast. All right, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be cooking a ribeye. We're actually talking about the, the Life Do Flat Pack Portable Charcoal Grill and Fire Pit, all in one. Tonight, we are going to grill some asparagus and a ribeye steak, don't you know? In addition to that, I have some full pack mushrooms on the gas grill. Time to cook some asparagus. Charcoal's about right. Not, not quite ready, but ready enough. That's faux butter. Supposed to be good for your cholesterol, lowering your cholesterol. So I have diced onions, diced raw onions on the bottom. So that steam will rise up through the asparagus. It takes about 25 minutes, thereabouts, depending on how hot your fire is. I'll cut back in when we get Ready to put some steak on. About time to put some steak on. So the asparagus is at that point now where it's what I always look for. I, I don't like real soggy asparagus. I like it to be still a little al dente, a little crunchy. So I look for it to be a little, a little flexible. Now some of it is still, you know, it's not real rubbery yet. The onions are nice and tender. So I'm ready to put some steak on. Let those asparagus cook a little longer while the steak is cooking. There's my ribeye. It's a bone-in ribeye. I picked that up at Kroger for $5. That's right. A ribeye, bone-in ribeye. $5. In the clearance. Mm, mm, mm. Don't be good. Love this ribeye. I really like, I really like the flat, the, the Life Do Flat Pack Grill. I still believe, firmly believe that they need a wider grate. But I like the way the grill cooks. But you only really have enough space for, you know, a couple of a couple of steaks, a couple of burgers. So if they had had it as wide as the end, that would be my re recommendation. I'm still gonna cook on it. Now we're ready. Ooh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. And that's going to be good. I don't know why. I always, I, I just really like the flavor profile of the steak and the asparagus. Well, what really made this great is to have put some bacon in there, but I didn't have any bacon. It'll be a good sunset. 
after I finish eating, I'm going to go down to the fishing dock and I'm going to see about catching some fish. All we're waiting on now is the steak. I like my steak to be medium rare. I like to have a good, good char on both sides. Charcoal's kind of cooling down. Let me flip it over here. We're still hot on this side. Almost, almost. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that is going to be a feast right there. All right, I'm going to pull my veggies and grab a plate. Y'all keep watching that. Watch that steak for me. I'll be right back. We're done. Almost lost my lost my sunglasses into the charcoal fire. Hold on, let me reset the camera. Well, kind of hard to get it so that you can see the, the food and me at the same time. So I'll focus on the food. That's the important thing. For this video, food is most important. <laughs> yum, yum. So I marinated, full pack marinade, a full pack marinade with the mushrooms with onion a little bit of boxed red wine. Some of those yummy onions. All right. What a feast. Let's dig in. Mmm. Perfect. Try this. Mm -mm. I could almost just make a meal out of those two. Let's try my five dollar clearance ribeye. Little, little bit, a little bit more done than I like. I'm sorry. It's nice and tender. <laughs> That's muy bueno. Mm. That's good stuff. All right. This isn't an ASMR eating video. This is a video about the Life Do Flat Pack Charcoal Grill and Fire Pit all in one. That brings us to the end of this video. I have a great steak and fixins to eat. My thoughts about the Life Do, Life Do Flat Pack Grill and Fire Pit in one. This is a winner, winner steak dinner. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? Well, man, this thing is cool. Uh, I think it is a good investment. It's heavy duty stainless steel. And, and the only fault I can, can find is this, this gap right here. Folds down nice and flat. It is a bit on the heavy side, but you wouldn't really want a, a fire pit that was lightweight. Now, would you? No, you want you want some durability and it's stainless so you don't have to worry about it rusting. It is available on Amazon. There's a link right up there. Maybe it's over there. And a link down there. It's also on my Amazon influencer page on I'll put up a screenshot. So if this is your first visit to Dude RV, 
thank you. I sure appreciate you stopping by. I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I do what I do. That's why I'm out here at the lake making this video. And for my patrons, you, I'm sitting down and I'm eating, but and I know that's that's not proper military decorum, but you guys rock. I'll break rules for you. All right, y'all come back now. You hear?